Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about sick frill dragons. You guys ready? Let's miss this bad boy down. So what, you're not going to tell nobody anything? So, alright, ready? Right now we have a hybrid New Guinea Australian Phil Dragon who's about four years old. Um, as you can see in her color, she has a lot of red color to her, a lot of white coloring to her. But there's something about this little two and a half foot monster that isn't right. I can, after I put her away, I'm going to show you a healthy frilled dragon. Um, what we're dealing with here is, I believe, an intestinal issue, but I'm not going to know for sure until tomorrow. Uh, she has a vet appointment around 11.30 in the morning, so I'll be bringing you guys with me for that. Uh, this girl, she's about four. She, she just seems uh, lethargic. She don't seem to want to move as much. I do see her wander around the cage from time to time. And I do have her paired with a male, but the male is not even a year old yet. He's about nine months old. He doesn't like to be touched too much. He is also a hybrid. I'll be pulling him out in a second. Now, I'm not sure if it's stress from him in her cage, but they seem to get along pretty well. Uh, they never compete over food. They never compete over their water dish. They each have their own branches that they lay on, hers being the bigger one because of her size. She is a huge girl. Now... When a frill dragon's stressed or scared, they keep their head close to whatever branch they're on. And she's using my hand as a branch here. She's keeping her head very close to it, so she she wants to feel in camouflage, so she's not seen. Now, I mean, I think she knows she's the star here, but... To check with hydration, if you squeeze their skin and it goes back to normal, that's usually a sign of a well-hydrated lizard. Now, if you squeeze it, and it stays in that same spot, that's usually a sign of a de like dehydration. So she is pretty hydrated. Her temperatures in her cage range from 115 degrees in the basking spots, which would be like about right here. Uh, we got cooler ambient spots in the cage, which would be about 90, which is where she likes to hang out at. Actual temperature right now where she hangs out is 94 degrees. And then the lower parts of the cage Around here is 80 degrees, and then down at the bottom is 78. The humidity stays about 50 degrees throughout the whole entire cage, um, which is perfect for these guys. They like about 50 to 60% humidity. Uh, I have water dishes. I have drippers. There, there's a lot of husbandry involved in keeping these lizards healthy. Here's a good example of the difference between a healthy reptile and a sick reptile. This girl right here is not eating much for me. She probably ate one time in the last week and it's probably like maybe five roaches. Now a year ago when she was still the same size she would eat about 15 of these guys at a time. As you can tell she she's not eating. She, she seemed a little interested but she's not taking it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you some stool samples. I, well I'm not going to show them all to you but I've been saving her stool samples for about the last month and the other lizards as well. I just want to make sure they're healthy, and the best way to check is take the stuff to the vet, let the vet check for parasites, make sure there's no worms, parasites, and if there is, there's methods to get rid of them. Now, I'll tell you one thing, lizards can generally live happy with parasites if they're not abundantly in their stomach. Like, if they have some parasites, most animals in the wild do have parasites. Now, getting past the parasites, I still have this roach on this hook, I have a little guy over here who's starving. He's, he's just going to devour it, right? This is what I mean by healthy lizard, too. He sees it. He goes for it. I'm not letting it go. That's what a healthy lizard does. So what I do is, when I dust my, my roaches, I take one of the cups that my roaches actually came in. I go... Two teaspoons of calcium, one half a teaspoon of D3. This is a multivitamin. I do that three times a week. 
Alright, so this is my favorite part. It's my Australian full dragon. But before I touch her, because I touched my last lizard's hand sanitizer. You touch the breeders, wash your hands. You touch the babies, wash your hands. You touch the one that's by itself, you wash your hands. You don't want to press any germs on to anybody else. Now, you guys ready to watch me get bit? Or maybe bit? So here, we have a pure Australian frilled dragon. Now this girl here, she's actually doing a lot better today. So she generally does flare up at me and hiss at me. So that was the first hiss. But look, she's not really flaring at me today. She's not trying to bite me. I think, so what scares lizards the most, and all reptiles for that matter, is fast movement. If you wave your arm real fast in front of her, or you just jerk her head real fast, that will scare a lizard. That will 100% scare a lizard. Now, I don't want to scare her, so I'm trying to make this as painless as possible for her. That's a good girl. You want to say hi to the camera? You want to show them how mean you are? Now, I'm not sure about this one yet, but she might actually be a he. I gotta wait a little bit longer to find out. But as you can see, like, she's even letting me pet her fro, which a week ago, she would not let me do this. So this is actually some great progress here with the Australian. She's probably terrified right now, honestly. See, she got close to my face and she got scared. Look at that beautiful red, white, and yellow frill. Holy mackerel. That is gorgeous. I can't wait to show you this out of the shed. Now remember what I was talking about with how males have bigger frills than females? Look how flappy this girl's frill is. I was told she was a girl. I believe I have a male Australian frill dragon here. And I could be wrong. But something tells me that she might be a he. Remember how we were talking about the little sacks on the bottom of their legs here? She got the same kind of sacks that my other male has. So something makes me think she is actually he. And that would make a lot of sense with the personality as well. I want to show you guys one more thing here. See how this poop is solid? Little ball. That's what a good poop looks like. Even this. This is stuck together. That's a good poop. So these are also going to go to the vet tomorrow. And checked. That's it. <laughs> what are you doing licking his 